good to me. From a distance, a tree may look like a solid, impenetrable object, but up close, there's a huge amount of space between its leaves. So huge that some golfers think you have a 90% chance of swinging clean through. To find out if this myth is all hot air, Gene Teoff travels to one of the most famous golf courses in the world. All right, let's do this. It's to feel a little underdressed. Where better to come than your famous Pebble Beach? I mean, this is where Jack Nicholas and Tiger Woods play, and now they're going to let us play? Yeah, I'm not sure they've seen the show. But with a world-class golf course, check. Some top-rate golf outfits, uh, check. Now the team just needs a tree. And this should do. You know, the tree that we picked, it's a very average tree. And it's the kind of tree that you would try to play through. Because when you look at it, you see that there is enough light. So you're thinking, I could get through this and actually play through to the next hole. So what's the plan, Tiger? So to begin our initial research into this myth, we're each going to hit 10 golf balls into the tree and see if we can make it through. And if nine of those 10 do sail through, it's myth confirmed. Having played golf since high school, Tori's going to tee off first. The thing is, is I find myself in this situation quite often when we're playing golf. First shot went like a shot, straight through the foliage. Look at that. Nice one. See, normally I would have to shoot out one for one. I just cut the corner. But shot two stops dead in its tracks. Oh. I'm going to have to say that one didn't make it to the tree. So it's one piece after two. 